Do you often find yourself caught in the web of overthinking? Well, you're not alone. It's a common struggle in this fast-paced, constantly connected world. But what if I told you that halfway across the globe, in the land of the rising sun, they have developed some unique techniques to help combat overthinking? Yes, we're talking about Japan, a country known for its wise and thoughtful approach to life. Today, we're going to explore eight Japanese techniques that could help you manage the whirlwind of thoughts that often cloud your mind. We'll discuss Ikigai, which is about finding purpose, Kaizen, a philosophy of continuous improvement, Harahachibu, the practice of mindful eating, Wabi Sabi, a concept about embracing imperfection, Shoshin, or the beginner's mind, Gaman, which preaches patience, Shinrin Yoku, the art of spending time in nature, and finally, Gambaru, the spirit of perseverance. Intrigued? I bet you are. Let's dive into these techniques that can help you lead a calmer, more focused life. The first technique we explore is Ikigai, which translates to reason for being. Imagine waking up each day, driven by a powerful purpose. That's the essence of Ikigai. It's not just about what you're good at or what you love, it's also about what the world needs and what you can be paid for. It's the sweet spot where passion, mission, vocation, and profession intersect. Now, how do you find your Ikigai? Start by asking yourself four key questions. What do I love? What am I good at? What can I be paid for? And what does the world need? Reflect on these, and you might just find your Ikigai hiding in plain sight. Discovering your Ikigai doesn't mean you'll never overthink again but it does mean you'll have a beacon guiding you, a purpose that drives you forward. Instead of being caught in whirlwinds of thoughts, you'll have a direction, a path to follow. Finding your Ikigai can bring a sense of fulfillment and reduce unnecessary thoughts. Up next is Kaizen, a practice that centers on continuous improvement. At its core, Kaizen is a process-oriented approach, focusing on the journey rather than the destination. It's a philosophy deeply rooted in Japanese business practices, initially adopted to improve efficiency and quality in manufacturing. But Kaizen isn't just for businesses. It's a mindset that we can apply to our personal lives. Overthinking often stems from a fear of making mistakes or not being perfect. With Kaizen, we shift our focus to small incremental improvements, realizing that perfection isn't a one-time achievement, but a continuous journey. The beauty of Kaizen lies in its simplicity. It starts with recognizing room for improvement, setting achievable goals, and taking small steps towards those goals each day. It could be as simple as reading a few pages of a book, taking a short walk, or learning a new word. The key is consistency and persistence. By practicing Kaizen, we can manage our tendency to overthink by focusing on the process of improvement rather than obsessing over the outcome. Incorporating Kaizen in your life can provide a clear path for improvement, reducing overthinking. Our third technique is Harahachi Bu, a practice of mindful eating. This ancient wisdom comes from the Okinawan people who are known for their longevity and healthy lifestyle. Harahachi Bu means eat until you are 80% full. It's a simple yet profound concept that encourages us to pay attention to our hunger and fullness cues to savor each bite and to stop eating when we're no longer hungry rather than when we're full. In a world where we're often rushing through meals or eating mindlessly in front of screens, Harahachi Bu invites us to slow down, to be fully present during mealtimes, and to truly enjoy our food. This mindful eating practice not only aids digestion and prevents overeating, but it also fosters a sense of peace and satisfaction, helping to quiet the mind and reduce overthinking. Remember, it's not about deprivation, but about tuning into your body's needs and honoring them. By practicing Harahachibu, you can focus on the present moment and reduce overthinking. Let's move on to Wabi Sabi, the art of finding beauty in imperfection. Wabi Sabi is a fascinating concept from the heart of Japanese aesthetics. It's an appreciation of the imperfect, the incomplete, and the transient. To embrace wabi-sabi is to accept that nothing lasts, nothing is finished, and nothing is perfect. It's a gentle reminder to us that our pursuit of perfection is not only futile but also unnecessary. In this fast-paced world, we often find ourselves overthinking due to the pressure of being perfect, be it in our work, relationships, or even personal growth. But what if we tell you that your imperfections are not your weaknesses, but your uniqueness? 
That's exactly what Wabi Sabi is all about. Imagine the relief when you can finally let go of the need to be perfect and instead embrace the beauty of your flaws. It brings a sense of peace, acceptance, and reduces the constant chatter in our minds. Embracing Wabi Sabi can help you accept imperfections, leading to less overthinking. So why not give it a try? Embrace Wabi Sabi, embrace your unique self, and watch how it transforms your life. Next, we explore Shoshin, the concept of maintaining a beginner's mind. In the vast realm of Japanese wisdom, Shoshin stands as a beacon of mental serenity. This term translates to beginner's mind, a mindset that invites us to approach every situation as if we are encountering it for the first time. Imagine the world through a child's eyes where everything is new, fascinating, and filled with wonder. That's Shoshin. It's about shedding preconceived notions and biases, allowing us to fully immerse ourselves in the present moment. Overthinking often stems from past experiences and future anxieties. But with Shoshin, we learn to focus on the here and now, significantly reducing the mental clutter. It encourages us to ask questions, to be curious, and to explore. This fresh perspective can spark innovation, creativity, and even joy in the most mundane tasks. Shoshin is not just about learning new things, it's about relearning the familiar. It is a gentle reminder that every day brings new opportunities to grow and learn. Shoshin can help you approach situations with an open mind, reducing room for overthinking. The sixth technique is Gaman, a practice of patience and endurance. Gaman, a cornerstone of Japanese culture, encourages us to face life's challenges with patience and determination. It's about remaining calm and composed, even when life throws curveballs our way. Now, you might wonder, how does Gaman help manage overthinking? Well, when we practice Gaman, we learn to endure discomfort without reacting impulsively. This stoic endurance allows us to stay grounded in the present rather than getting swept up in a storm of future worries or past regrets. And as we cultivate this patience, we find that overthinking starts to lose its grip on us. We become more resilient capable of weathering life's ups and downs without letting our thoughts run wild. By practicing Gaman, you can endure challenging situations with patience, reducing overthinking. Our seventh technique is Shinrin-yoku, which encourages spending time in nature. Shinrin-yoku, or forest bathing, is a practice where you immerse yourself in the natural world, soaking in the sights, sounds, and smells of the great outdoors. This isn't about hiking or exercising, it's about being present and mindful in nature. Why is this important? Overthinking often stems from our minds being cluttered with thoughts and worries. But nature, with its serene beauty and simplicity, has a way of clearing our minds. The trees, the chirping of birds, the scent of fresh earth, they all work together to soothe our senses and calm our thoughts. Shinrin-yoku is a gentle reminder that we are part of a larger ecosystem, a world that is beautiful, harmonious, and soothing. By spending time in nature, we can disconnect from our digital distractions and reconnect with ourselves. It's a way to reset, to find our balance, and to reduce the noise in our minds. So the next time you feel overwhelmed by your thoughts, step outside. Take a walk in a nearby park, sit by a stream, or simply spend some quiet time in your backyard. Shinrin-yoku can help you reconnect with nature and bring tranquility to your mind. Finally, we have Ganbaru, the spirit of perseverance. Ganbaru is more than just sticking with something. It's about giving it your all, pouring your heart and soul into whatever you're doing. It's not about doing things half-heartedly, but about pushing through your limits and never giving up, no matter how tough the journey gets. Ganbaru is a powerful technique in managing overthinking. When we're focused, engaged, and committed to our tasks, we leave little room for overthinking. Our minds become too occupied with the present, with the task at hand, that they don't get the chance to wander off into a spiral of overthinking. Perseverance is not just about persistence. It's about maintaining a positive attitude despite the challenges. It's about embracing the struggle, knowing that with each obstacle we overcome, we're becoming stronger, wiser, and more resilient. In the spirit of Ganbaru, we encourage you not to give up on yourself or your dreams. Remember that it's okay to take breaks, to rest, but never to quit. Remember that you are stronger than you think and you are capable of more than you believe. Gambaru encourages you to keep going, reducing room for overthinking. 
These are the eight Japanese techniques that can help you stop overthinking. We've journeyed through the paths of Ikigai, finding purpose in what we do. We've embraced the concept of Kaizen, the continuous improvement of ourselves. We've savored the essence of Harahachibu, the practice of mindful eating. We've discovered the beauty in wabi-sabi, embracing our imperfections. We've welcomed the Shoshin, the beginner's mind, open to all possibilities. We've learned the value of Gaman, showing patience and endurance in the face of adversity. We've taken a deep breath in the spirit of Shinrin-yoku, spending time in nature. And lastly, we've embodied Ganbaru, the art of perseverance even when the going gets tough. Each of these techniques offers a unique approach to managing stress, fostering personal growth, and finding balance in daily life. Remember to subscribe, like, share this video, and comment below. Your mind is a powerful tool. Use these techniques to harness its power. Until next time, sayonara.